everyone, I'm here with a fall favorites video. Just a heads up, if you hear noises in the background, uh, that's because my kids are home and uh, you may hear noises or like a cat or whatever. So heads up about that. All right, so I did not do a September favorites video. Uh, I missed doing that, so I thought I would just do like a September, October, fall favorites video. Um, so I had to really think about like, oh, what were my what were my favorites for this year? So let's start with cards first and then we can move on to non-witchy things and that way if you're only interested in you know cards and stuff then that's fine you can click off at the end alrighty so first of all um, I wanted to talk about the classic rock tarot which I'm now using for my Saturday draws I used to use the rebel deck draw uh, rebel deck for my Saturday draws on Instagram Facebook um, but I think like I've kind of been through most it's I've been doing it for a while so I think we've seen most of those cards it's not that I don't use that deck or love that deck but um, I thought I would switch it up a bit so um, this is what the back looks like it is an independent deck so you can order it online I don't think it's out of print yet but um, very cool it doesn't come with a little white book or anything so um, you know who knows maybe the maker will make a book at some point but um, it is uh, it's a pretty nice deck it wasn't too expensive um, you know, it's, it's kind of like got a matte, a semi-gloss matte finish, and um, the cardstock's pretty good. Um, I just like it because it's, you know, it's a tarot deck with, like, rock stars in it. And, I mean, who doesn't like that, right? Um, so, example, we have the sun as um, Grateful Dead. What's his name? Jerry Garcia. Yes. I'm like, the Grateful Dead, that guy. Um, some of them, the major arcana kind of makes sense, but the minor um, doesn't always make sense. Like Dave Grohl, Five of Cups. We have Steve Harris from Iron Maiden as the Three of Wands. Dio as the King of Wands. Right there. Ace Freely, the Ace of Cups. It's just a really cool deck, and for somebody like me that really loves hard rock and, and loves classic rock. Um, I, I really am enjoying this. I love the, the kind of cartoony, cartoony um, art, style, art style. We have the four cups here as Metallica. Classic Metallica, there's a cliff there. Yeah. Um, so I am, I do enjoy that. Um, oops. We have um, Jimi Hendrix as a magician. It's just a really fun deck to work with. And I found, like, I made a reading specifically for this because I kind of use this as a combo tarot oracle deck. Like, I look at the person and the meaning of the card kind of together because they don't always match. But um, I think it is kind of interesting to use this as an oracle deck. So I've been really enjoying this particular deck, working with that. Another favorite that I got was um, the Angels and Ancestors cards by Kyle Gray. I kind of think of him as the new Doreen Virtue in some ways because he's working with angels, but I think he's a lot more contemporary. Uh, obviously, unlike Doreen, he hasn't, you know, lost his mind. Um, and um, he's, uh, I think it's just like a, a really great uh, new, he's a great newer kind of author and um, I guess not an artist, but maker of cards. So the artwork's really good. Hay House has noticed has really improved, like up their game with the card stock. Um, it's more matte, um, it's a little bit thicker GSM, not so flimsy, um, so I do appreciate that. I think too, the artist that he's working in, she's been really great. Um, this is a lot more earthy of a deck than his previous other decks, so I really have been enjoying working with this this fall. I also find it's like a lot more diverse as well, which I quite enjoy, and um, I found like working with it with uh, readings that it's really added something to it, so it's a really nice one to work with. So that's that one there. Mm -hmm. I also got this month um, the Moonology cards. And I've been working with that mostly, not so much in the Oracle, although I have done um, some readings for myself with it, and it does definitely stand up as an Oracle deck. Um, but I think in working with the Moon Cycles, it's actually been you know helpful, and I think of it as a really good teaching tool for that. So it's got lovely artwork. Again, it's a Hay House deck, and again, we've got that more uh, more of a matte, satiny type finish, and the cardstock is definitely, um, you know, improved. So I, I am enjoying, like, that overall. But I find that this is just, like, a really nice deck for working along with the moon cycles, also for teaching about moon cycles. Um, 
I like the artwork on it. I think this is a really, really lovely deck to um, work with the moon with. So enjoying working that. And this is also one too that you could kind of pull a card for whatever part of the moon cycle you're in to add information to a reading. Like I wouldn't so much use this as a standalone reading, but I would include it in like a moon type reading. And I'm actually thinking of including this. I do monthly readings through my Patreon. Um, there's a level where people can sign up for a monthly reading and then they're also part of like the coven and the wit school or whatever but um, I do do monthly readings and I'm thinking of adding these to the monthly reading as well so that um, oh and then there's one more deck um, I did just receive the spirit seekers tarot and you may have seen the unboxing that I put up last week but I think I'm gonna save that one for like the November just because I just just got it um, and so I kind of want to work with it first, but I am going to use it as my November deck. So I'll have a more informed opinion. I also haven't received the Book of Maps yet, which is the guidebook with it. And I really want to work with that. So I want to kind of give a more informed opinion, but it is, I was so happy to receive it. It is definitely on my list. The other deck um, is the Halloween Oracle. I've had this for a couple of years. I've used this for, I think, like two or three Octobers. And I really love working with this deck. This is a Blue Angel deck. It is a fun deck, but it is a deep deck at the same time. So if you like see the back, and I mean, this is like just really fun, cute, nostalgic, kind of like Halloween type stuff, but it's really got meaning to it. And I love the artwork on this too. Um, you know, it's got some, some of those deeper themes, even within things like, you know, kitschy things like the mummy and zombies and stuff. It really talks about some of the deeper issues. Um, that can come up. So it's it's a good oracle deck in that it contains both shadow and light, lots of different themes of transformation um, and rebirth and dealing with some like darker issues. Like here we have the werewolf, which is about exploring your wildness, you know? We've got the lamp, so remembrance, remembering people. So, you know, it's, it's I think it's a really great uh, deck to work with in the fall. It's really fun and I look forward to working with that every year. All right, so I'm kind of done with the um, with the woo-woo stuff. And um, I'll go on next to, I think I'll go on next to like some clothes that I bought, some stuff like that. First, um, I got this, I was attracted to the packaging at first and then I smelled and I was like, oh, I gotta have this. This is, it's called Barefoot Venus and they have different, um, different scents. This is Lavender Smoke. So you can see there, very cool. They've got the skull, butterfly, very beautiful packaging. And then I uh, smelled it and oops, it's on. It smells like lavender. Um, but I think it's got something else in it besides just lavender. But I put it on my hands. Oh my God, it smells so good. I am a sucker for all things lavender and not fake lavender smell. But like the, this has like, it's got the real like essential oil lavender smell in it. Um, okay, the thing here I'm not sure what else is in here but it is very very nice I think this is like a locally made thing so I don't know I got it in my local bookstore um, and they have like lots of different scents and things but it's really really nice and I love it I can't wear to work because we're like no scent but um, after work I put it on and I'm like mm, it smells so lavendery I love it speaking of scents though this is pumpkin season we are in full-on pumpkin spice season and I am all for it. I don't care if people don't like it. I don't care if it's considered common or basic, like whatever. Let's not put people down for what they like. Who cares? If you like it, you like it. It doesn't matter if nobody likes it or everybody likes it. If you like it, that's cool. So I'm all about the pumpkin spice, so I'm enjoying my pumpkin spice lattes. I am enjoying pumpkin flavored ice cream. I'm eating pumpkin flavored cake, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin everything, pumpkin pie. It's been so, it's so yummy and delicious. Um, we do have Thanksgiving in Canada in October, so that was um, this fall as well. So that can conclude that in my fall favorites, uh, fall favorites. I almost said fall flavorites, but uh, yes, pumpkin, my fall favorite flavor. Um, so I'm all about the pumpkin stuff, pumpkin scented things, pumpkin, of this pumpkin scented candle that smells like pumpkin pie. I left it upstairs, but it's so good. It's like one of those big candles in a jar. I could just smell it all day. I love it so much. All right, let's get to clothes. So, um, you know, I'm not a big, like some people are fashionistas and they go out and buy a whole bunch of clothes and I'm just not really like that. I kind of live in my jeans and t-shirt or my black skirt or whatever it is. 
So um, I did get myself some more rock t-shirts though. My hairdresser moved and now she's um, across from the store that has like posters and um, t-shirts and all sorts of rock paraphernalia like that. So I was like, I need some more t-shirts. So I went and got more t-shirts. So uh, first I got this one, which is a classic one. Got some GNR there. So I'm loving that. I had a short, I ordered online this one, but it came, it said medium, but it was actually quite small. So I ended up giving it to my stepdaughter. Um, but this one is nice and long. So I like that. Um, what else did I get? Well, the other t-shirt I got was, oh, it said a Judas Priest t-shirt. So I got this one. It's a classic. It's from Painkiller, um, which is an album, I think from 1990. Um, so I got that because I was like, oh, I need a Judas Priest t-shirt. So I went and got it. The next t-shirt that I got was from the Metallica concert. So that is also one of my fall favorites. We went to see Metallica in September. It was a completely sold out show and it was amazing. It was so, so good. If you follow me on Instagram or you follow me on Facebook, you would have seen clips from it, but it was such a great show. If you have a chance to go see them, go see them. It's kind of expensive, but it was worth it. And they also, um, they send you, or you can download or they send you a free CD for your ticket. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I got, they have, a lot more bands are doing this now. I know it's GNR did this and last year and then this year Metallica did it where they have, um, they have their regular shirts for sale, but then they also have a shirt just for the city. So this was the Winnipeg one. So they got the golden boy there. Um, so they probably, it's probably the same thing. Each city has like the heads from the album and that's probably got some image that's iconic to that particular city. So. Um, I was like, oh, I have to get the Winnipeg one. Now it's like a collection thing where every time a band has a specific one, I'll be like, oh, I gotta get it for the, specifically for the city or the concert that I'm going to. Um, I also got, whenever I go to Bath and Body Works, they always have the fuzzy socks. And I guess it was end of summer, so these were on sale, but I did get these fuzzy, oh, here it is. Fuzzy unicorn socks. Very, very cute, very fuzzy, very warm. So they say make one says magic so make magic oh very very cute so I do love those so I have like my rock t-shirts on and then my fuzzy unicorn socks because that's how I roll so that's kind of what I got clothing wise and then I also picked up had to pick him up Lemmy in Funko Pop form isn't he cute he's still, he doesn't even have his little warts there Aww. he's got his little base I saw him in, again, it was my local bookstore, the same one where I got the, actually probably was the same day I got the lavender um, lotion. I saw him and I was like, oh, he's so cute. They have like a record section and they had a whole bunch of music ones out. And I was like, oh my God, it's Lemmy. I have to take Lemmy home. So he sits with the other Funko Pop guys and uh, I just, I love them. I'm a sucker for these little figures. So some people just keep them in the box. I'm like, what's the fun of that? You know? That's really cute. So, got that. And of course, if you watched my slash unboxing of the new slash record, one of my favorite things is I got an autograph from Slash, which I am super, super stoked about. Um, I think only a hundred of them got these. So I'm like, yes, awesome. This is back there. This is going in a little frame. I pass it on my children. I know I'm ridiculous and a dork and I do not care. So, that was one of my favorite things this fall. I feel like there's more stuff that happened, but it just feels like a big blur that just went by. So let me know what's your favorites for the fall. Do you like any of these decks? Let me know. Did you get anything new, do anything exciting and fun this fall? I'm gonna try to, you know, keep doing like the monthly fall favorite or the monthly favorite videos. So, um, but I have to keep a list because I kind of tend to forget things. So. Um, about everything that's happened over the past while. But yeah, those are my favorites for the fall. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know what your favorites are. And as always, peace, love.